Hey, what's up, guys? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about um, kind of like a part two. Um, at the end of the video I made a couple days ago about the five things that open doors for demons in your life. And the reason why these type of videos are important because a lot of people are unaware of spiritual warfare. They're unaware of uh, demons working through people. You know, maybe even yourself if you don't know um, that certain sins open up doors. So it's very important. For, I feel like this video is very important. In that video I was talking about with the five things that open up doors, like was like horror movies, um, uh, objects, you know, like you notice how this whole world, this everything, everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people worship objects, okay? Uh, it's idolatry that opens up doors. Um, I mean, I was, there was a whole bunch of things I was talking about in that video. You can go watch it if you haven't already, but I want to make a part two. And I feel like this one's going to be a lot more deeper because this is what a lot of people are doing. And the world, de they, I was going to say the world demonized. No, the world actually uh, promotes this, you know, on social media. Um, you know, you're cool for doing it. You have friends, certain friends at least, who like laugh, at, make jokes about certain things. But before I go on with this video, I want to share a verse with you guys. This is 1 Peter chapter 5. Verse eight to nine says, so it says, be sober, be vigilant, because your enemy, uh, the devil, as a warring lion, walked about seeking who he may devour. Okay, whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Okay, so you're not the only one going through it. Okay, and saying he's he's watching, he's watching, he's looking, he's looking, you know, waiting to see what you're gonna do, you know, how you're gonna give him your power. Because best believe, guys, the only power Satan has over you as us uh, true believers in Christ, as people who have the Holy Spirit, the only power he has into us is what we allow and what we give to him. Now, yes, God could sometimes could allow Satan to attack you, just like how God allowed um, Satan to attack Job, because it could just be a test. OK, so um, sometimes, guys, we allow the enemy, you know, access into our life by you know doing certain things. Now, I could give a, a an hour video of things that open up doors. But the first thing, guys, make sure you guys like the button so it could get out on the algorithm so more people could be edified and understand the real world we live in. So the first thing that opens up doors for demons uh, and a gateway to Satan in your life, guys, is pornography, okay? This is what a lot of people are doing. And guys, when you're watching porn, you're now engaging in a soul tie with Satan, okay? My phone's at 10%. Why? <laughs> you, you When when you are watching porn, guys, you might just think, oh, I'm just trying to get it off real quick. You know, let's keep it real. I'm just trying to get it off real quick, feel good, get that little dopamine hit because this world is all dopamine addicts and they program us to be this way, okay? But you got to understand, you know, you are now engaging and feeding it into that succubus, okay? Or if you're a sister, you're feeding it into that incubus. You're just feeding that demon, okay? And this is just an open a, a portal to saying, and y'all notice that I can notice in my life, okay, I have some friends who told me something similar. The people who were plagued with watching porn, they usually attracted a woman who was watching porn too as well, who was also, you know, slave to her lust and vice versa. My, I can't speak for everyone else, but I noticed in my life, like the minute I stopped watching porn, um, like I noticed like the woman that I attract or like more peer, you know, not to be, not to, not to say that they're like holy, you know, so holy or like that, but like they were like very... Like I could tell the difference. Like when I was watching porn for like almost all my life, right? I noticed that every single of those females, like they did the same thing too. And I, that's how you know it's spiritual. It's all spiritual. And like this, and this people, people got to understand when people, when someone likes you, right? It's because it's spiritual. Like the demons know it. Let's say if you have a demon in you and that person has a similar demon, let's say the demon of lust, right? Y'all both have that. You guys are going to be more, more attracted to each other. Man, this is real, bro. I'm telling you guys. If, if, if like, um, certain, like certain demons, right. They, they, they know each other in the spiritual realm. That's why they, you know, Satan likes to bring, you know, his people together. Okay. He likes to divide the body of Christ, but he likes to bring his people together. So when you got, when you got demons, I, you're unaware of, you know, now I want to be very clear too, guys. How do you break free from, before I go on with the next one, how do you break free from these demons, these, you know, these devils, these demonic spirits? The first thing you have to do guys is give your life to Jesus Christ. That's the first thing you have to do. It's been almost four years since I watched that type of stuff. So God gave me the strength through the Holy Spirit, which gives me power to fight against my flesh. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not without sin. So don't get the wrong message. But I could definitely say once I received the Holy Spirit, things have became a lot easier, like a lot easier. And you got to be careful, you brothers, because when you have the Holy Spirit, there's going to be a woman lusting after you, not because you're handsome or you're so cute or because this and that. It's because you have power. The Bible even says, I'll leave a verse right here, that you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. So these Jezebel spirits, you know, Jezebel, she's, she's, she wants power. She wants control. 
And that Jezebel spirit, she's lusting after your power. She's lusting after your spirit, the Holy Spirit. She's lusting after that because she's off, the power she's getting from Satan is coming from the dark realm. But the power we're getting from the Holy Spirit is from God. That's the that's the strongest, most most ultimate power you could get ever. Okay, so and these females you got to be careful because they're lusting after you because the Holy Spirit you have. They want it. They're jealous. They're envious, and they want to take it from you. They want to strip you away from your light. That's what these demons do, not just these Jezebels. These demons, they want to strip you away from their, your light. They want to feed off of your energy. Okay, so you got to understand spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare. We don't battle against flesh and blood. Okay, next one up, guys, is your tongue. Okay, number two is your tongue. Um, even the Bible says, I'm going to give you guys a verse. There's two verses I want to go over. So this is in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. I could definitely say every time I was speaking positive in my life and I purposely like took like two minutes out of my day to speak like life, you know, I could, I definitely see me eating the fruits thereof, you know, and there was times where I was ignorant why, when I didn't know the word of God, when I wasn't, um, I didn't have much wisdom and knowledge and I would be speaking death, you know, this English language that we speak, you know, how when people are laughing, you know, people are making jokes and say, you know, they're weak, they're dead. They don't understand they're manifesting that in their life and check this out. Check this, check this out, right? Uh, so this is in uh, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 23, okay? This is how you could, your tongue could open doors for Satan. Okay, it says, whoso keep his mouth and his tongue, keep his soul from troubles, okay? So if the person who's not guarding his mouth, who's not taming his tongue, okay, you could open up doors, okay? Our, the Bible even says our tongue is a rooter, okay? We could control this shit. So if you want to make, make covenants and soul ties and, and be blessed, blessed by the devil, I'm quoting that because we all know his blessings lead to like a fire if you don't repent so if you want to you know operate on that side you could speak that through your tongue okay now a lot of us people a lot of us you know people who belong to god sometimes we do this ignorantly sometimes we do this unknowingly okay so uh you just got to be very cautious in that and also be have to be very cautious because my phone's at 10 percent. so i want to make sure i finish this quick but uh so yeah guys be careful what you're speaking with your mouth you know, a lot of people are demonized manifestation and it's new age. And yes, new agers do do their new age stuff. But best believe there's power in the tongue. You can speak life. You can speak blessings. And you also can speak curses. And you can open demonic doors in the spiritual realm where Satan could come in, attack you. You know, there's a lot of times where, um, you know, I would say things that I didn't mean to say. And then like I didn't notice until after like a couple of days later and something would have happened. Like something literally happened a couple of days later. I'm like, oh, shoot. Like I spoke that. You have these rappers, guys. Um, the guy who just passed away, um, P, uh, P, P M B Rock. He said on the song that a girl. I forgot the. I don't know the lyrics by heart, but I was. It was a video I was watching, and he he said that um, um, a girl was trying to set him up in lyrics. I don't know the whole lyrics by heart, of course, but he ended up dying because of a female. Okay, a female put his uh, put his thing on the Instagram, his location, and he spoke that into his life. He spoke that, guys. A lot of people are speaking death. These rappers are speaking death, and they want and saying no, saying no is because they belong to his kingdom, and he saying he wants them to push that frequency out, the death frequency. And then you know us people, we, oh the music sounds dope, the beat is the beat is lit, right? Now we sing it along. Now we're speaking that, you know. So you got to be careful when you listen to rap music, or not just rap music, music in general. That's now not all music's demonic, obviously, but. You know, you know, you gotta. This is where you have to have wisdom. You know, what words are they using? And if you are, you're, you know, mimicking those words with your own tongue, you gotta be very careful, guys. Be very careful of that. So, um, there's another verse I wanted to go over, but I'm not sure. Uh, whatever, whatever. I can make this quick. So the next one up is soul ties, guys. Yes, you could have a soul tie with saying not just through porn, but also through you know fornication, through sexual morality. Okay, you gotta understand that. Don't be so quick to engage in relationships because the devil sends people your way too, guys. The devil sends, you know, to see them when the devil sends people your way, they're always every, not always, but most of the time, in my experience, they always come disguised as everything you ever wanted, you know? So you gotta be very careful. Careful. The Bible says that even Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. So you gotta be careful because one thing I noticed about when I had a soul tie with one of Satan's children, um, I noticed that like, after 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 like you know god showed me who they were and i started to see he gave me eyes to see right my life and i got them out of my life like things just went downhill you know and their life was going up because they feed drain my energy and now they, they're eating off my energy they're feeding off my energy so that's one thing i noticed and when you have a when, when you when you engage yourself with a fornication sexual morality through an agent of saying you're putting yourself under a curse 
Okay, now you better hope and pray God has mercy and grace upon your life, you know, because if he does and you're good, but if he if he doesn't, you know, that could lead to death. That could you will never I know some people guys who who after they've been with a relationship, they were never the same. Never the same. So uh be very careful who you engage yourself with. I advise all you guys to wait for marriage. Uh you parents out there, I'm about to be a parent next month or in a month and a half. And I'm gonna be telling my daughter like don't, you know, you, you, wait till marriage, okay? Wait till marriage. Uh, if I have to homeschool her or uh, how many daughters God blesses me with, you know, if I have to do that, uh, because these babies are having, you know, they're losing their virginity. They're losing their purity, you know, their purity at ages um, 11, 12, middle school now. So it's looking bad out here, man. So we, us parents, we got to step our game up and train our children. You know, uh, if you made a mistake, and you sisters, you got to be very careful, too, because a lot of sisters, they, they had, when they were in the world, they had 20, 30 bodies, right? And they think that, oh, I gave my life to Jesus, so now I'm good. Like, no, you need to seek deliverance. And a lot of people, they don't receive deliverance because they're not willing to give their life to Christ. Some people just stay on the religious side and just think that being religious is how you get deliverance. No, you must surrender your life fully to God. Many people aren't willing to do that. So that all those soul ties, those 20 men, all the generational curses that were in them, now it's on you. Okay, all the sins they were battling with, the demons they were battling with, now it's on you. So you sisters got to be very careful and wait for us and wait for a man of God who's being led by wisdom, who's being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, so uh, soul ties, porn, and the tongue. And the next one up, guys, real quick, is the love of money. Now, I know most of us, we don't operate like this, but for those who still struggle with this, if you have the love of money in you, that's another gateway to Satan to come in because he can now, you know, get you to sign a contract, a spiritual satanic contract, and you got to fulfill the will of Satan to, to get promoted all these people that your beyonce's your jay-z's they all signed the satanic contract okay all the all the a great a celebrities or whatever you want to call it they're all under Satan's contract and they gotta fulfill his will okay how come all these these billionaires and millionaires have all this money they're not giving back to the community of course not they can't they're under Satan's contract okay uh how come all these people who are on Satan's you know Satan's side they never promote the truth jesus christ never okay so you notice that so that's why it's important, guys, that, you know, and understand this too, okay? Because some people might get the wrong message. God does not want his children broke. God does not want his children living paycheck to paycheck. God does not want his children suffering and, you know, you no, know, God wants you to live abundantly, okay? That's why Jesus Christ came for to live abundantly. But the thing is, we must be willing, put it in that work because faith without works is dead. Just like how we, we work at a job, they pay us. We work for God. We go hard for God. He's going to reward us too. So we must be putting in this work through our obedience, denying our flesh daily, picking up our cross, you know, and, you know, being wise, being wise, having wisdom. Okay. So, um, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully I might make a part three to this. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button. I don't want my phone to die. I don't know what percent it is now. So I got to wrap this up. If you guys have already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and share this video and all social media platforms. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.